Hi Leo, welcome to your singles reading for October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. This is a new series. I hope all you guys like it. And if you do, please do comment. Give me some feedback. Let me know. Like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. Um, I'll be doing these monthly. So these are for singles. Who's coming towards me? New love, that sort of energy. We'll take a look at who, when, where, how, what kind of connection will it be? Advice for you. We'll get a couple zodiac signs. So thought this would be kind of fun. So I hope you like this and we'll just see what comes out here. I do ask you to check the description box below for any and all information that you need. Tons of stuff down there. Thank you everyone for your support, all the new subscribers, tips, donations, those who've reached out for personal readings. All of your support really does mean a lot to me to help to grow the channel and get the messages out to those who need to hear them and being a part of that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Leo, let's see what we have for Leo singles. Incoming new love person <clears throat> who's coming towards Leo October. I've also added another new reading. It's called uh, Messages from Your Spirit Guides. So you can also look for that every month. And hopefully you like that also. So now um, you'll be getting four totally different readings a month. So. All right, so let's get a couple signs for Leo spirit, please. Thank you so much. Who may be coming towards Leo, October, or they are on after. Incoming love, new love. Who's coming towards Leo spirit, please. Can we have a couple signs for Leo? Well, there's three here. So let's see. They're stuck in my hand, but I only want two. So we have fire and we have Neptune. So it could be a fellow fire sign, Leo, Sag, or Aries. And then we have Neptune here, which I believe is Pisces. So that's four signs there, four possibilities. A fellow fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, or a Pisces. Okay. So now I want to look at who is this person? What is their energy like? What will, they, what will they be like? What will their energy be like? Let's see if we can get some something on that, on their energy, possibly, for you. What is this? Who is this person? What will their energy be like? Mm, that was quick. So we have Soul Song here, which is 41. And that equals five, which is about change. But let me see what uh, Soul Song here has to say. Your soul emits a beautiful song. So I think that is about You know, being in tune, in touch with who you truly are, your soul, your life purpose, your soul mission, being really authentic to yourself. So I think this is somebody who's going to be really in tune, in touch with themselves. They're really going to be authentic. They're going to feel like they're, be, they're living out their life purpose. They're following their dreams and their ambitions, that type of person. And they kind of vibrate maybe at a high level, like they have a... Uh, very, I don't want to say strong personality, but just uh, like a contagious, they may be like a happy-go-lucky person or just a very determined uh, person or, or something like that where their energy is like very uh, catchy, like very, not like high strung, but just very like a positive energy, positive energy. All right, someone I feel who's very, very, authentic to who they truly are okay so and they may not be afraid of change because you have 41 here which is five which is about change so they may be somebody who's not afraid to change and you know change things in their life when needed um, and that sort of energy all right so let's take a look at like when when could you possibly Meet this person when one card for Leo. When could they possibly meet this person? Okay. 
Okay. Let's see what we get for Leo. Nine of Raphael. Make a wish. Dreams come become reality. A joyful time of life. But this is the Nine of Cups. Cups are summer. So, and I know we just got done summer nine. So it could be in like the ninth month of summer, like September. Could be September of next year. Or, I mean, we're still in September now, but really we're in fall now. But uh, could be could be just September or it could be September of next year. I'm feeling the month of September sometime. All right. So, so and Leo does go tell, well, Leo is July, August, so no, they wouldn't be a Leo too. They would either be uh, Virgo or Libra, but that's the time frame, not the actual sign, the signs are here, so I don't want to confuse you with that. For the signs, we have Leo Sagittarius or Pisces. All right, so with this deck here, let's take a look at like where, like where you could possibly meet this person. Where could Leo possibly meet this person? So we have passion, Archangel Haniel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. So you could meet this person at work in your career because it says career there. So this could be somebody you meet at work or somebody you have a new found feelings for, uh, someone you possibly work with. Hmm, okay. So now this deck, how, how will this connection come to be? I mean, if you already work with that person, that's pretty obvious, um, but how, how will this come to be? Maybe some of you, you start a new job and uh, you meet this person. And I feel like there's probably going to be a lot of passion between the two of you, a lot of authenticity, especially from their side. You know, wishes and dreams coming true. <laughs> 37, we have the clock here. So maybe you're punching in and out at the time clock and you run into this person. And, and I saw the clock in the pre-shuffle and it stuck out to me. And I'm like, hmm. So you could be, you know, in your new job, maybe you do have to punch in and out or something like that. And you're at the time clock, you know, waiting, checking the time. And all of a sudden there they are. And it's either a new person that um, you meet on at a new job for some of you. And I definitely feel like it's like on the clock while you're working with the clock here. And let's see. So let's see with this connection. We already have passion there. So, but let's see what kind of connection will this be for you, Leo? What kind of connection? What kind of connection if Leo pursues this connection? Okay, that one wanted to jump, but it didn't. What kind of connection? will this be? Heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So I think it's going to be a op very open, honest uh, connection. You know, not afraid to speak of matters of the heart, not afraid to communicate to each other and be honest and truthful with one another, which is very good. So that's a good energy. No, not afraid to speak to one another. All right. So what is your advice, Leo? What is your advice, Leo? Okay, these wanted to stick. No, I don't feel comfortable with that. Okay, so what's the advice for Leo? So we have be decisive. So I think you're going to really have to think about and decide uh, what you want with this person. This could be what the heart to heart conversations are about. Um, being decisive, deciding on things. Uh, where does this connection go from here? Um, where do we go from here? And then correct your mistakes. So I'm not sure what that's there for. So. Uh, 
I don't know. Um, we'll clarify with the tarot with that one. I'm seeing like the red, correct your mistakes. So maybe like you made a mistake at the time clock or something and you have to go up to the office and uh, get it corrected and maybe this person is there, maybe they're new or maybe, you know, maybe you do know them but maybe you strike up a conversation and all of a sudden you start having a little twinkle in your eye towards each other. And we have nurture yourself first. So taking care of yourself. Let me show you can see that. All right, so I have so many cards here. So let's clarify some things with the tarot. See what we get for Leo. Leo, incoming love, new love. Who's coming towards Leo? So I see somebody very authentic, true to themselves. Um, I think they're in very high vibration, very positive energy. Could be in the summer, September. Could be at work. Something to do with the time clock or something like that. Uh, punching in and out or there was a mistake in your time and you had to go to the office maybe and have a conversation all of a sudden you kind of spark a little bit of passion sparks between the two of you and then you you know and some places you cannot have you know relationship with co-workers so you know maybe that's the correct your mistakes knowing you know we can't really do this so you really have to decide what you want to do here and nurture yourself first, so doing what's best for you. So, hmm, I don't know. We'll see. Let's clarify with the tarot. Let's clarify with the tarot. Let's see. What do we want to clarify? So let's get one for Soul Song and see what we get. The Nine of Wands. So this is the fire energy. So there's a Leo Sagittarius. This is someone who's, I think, been through a lot of battles hard times of uh, the wounded warrior, but they're not afraid to keep going on and fighting on and um, pursuing and being persistent on in life. And I do feel, you know, being very, very authentic to themselves. So let's see. For the time frame, I got nine, like September, but it's summer because that's cups. Cups are summer. So let's see, let's get one more for that. Maybe we can get two time frames. One for the, okay, what do we have now? The moon. So now we have Pisces energy. So Pisces is, or it can be Cancer. So, but traditionally it's Pisces. So Pisces is um, February to March. And then Cancer is May to June, no. June to July. So I mean different time frames there. So that's a few more time frames. So it could be June, July, it could be uh, February, March, or it could be in September. But we got the Pisces here and the Pisces there. Fire there, fire there. So clarifying that. So for how we got career here. So can we clarify one for that? The wheel. So that Sagittarius energy. So you know this fate, destiny, timing, and as we have the clock there. So it almost looks like the same thing, like divine timing. It's probably almost going to be like divine timing. Um, the way this happens, like something meant to be. But if you work together, I'm really gonna be careful of that energy. It could be a mistake that you'll have to correct later. All right, so, so we have the wheel basically clarifying. The wheel is time, destiny, and so isn't the clock there. So, so now we have the six of coins. So that is career finance. So it definitely could be meeting this uh, person in your work environment, career environment. All right, so let's put this over here. 
Let's get one for heart to heart conversations. Heart to heart conversations for Leo. The Ten of Wands. So this is about burning. So I think you're just going to be very burning about this all of a sudden in this new found attraction with the passion there and uh, connection and you're not going to know what to do. So that's why you're going to have to have these heart to heart conversations. But you're going to have to be decisive again if this is a workplace. Yep. Justice may come in here. And sometimes people get let go if they're not supposed to be having affairs with a co-worker. So you have to be careful of that energy with the justice card here is be decisive because justice might step in here. Somebody may lose their job. Hmm. Leo. All right. What is the correct your mistakes? Well, we have temperance here, which is Sagittarius energy. So... You know, this is about patience. This is about balance. This is about um, fate, destiny, healing energy. So you may have to be patient with this connection here while you try to figure it out. Um, again, getting involved with someone you're not supposed to may be a mistake. And then, like I said, with justice there. So you're really going to have to decide what what you're going to do in this situation with the temperance temperance is balance patience healing time it is about people coming together so i feel like you're really going to want to try to be with this person but it may not be a good idea so nurture yourself here we have the sun which is healing um it's, you know it's enlightenment healing leo energy so that's your energy so nurture yourself Healing energy, healing yourself. So for some of you, I don't know. I'm, okay, I'm getting the feeling this may be a like a work affair. And it seems like, you know, a wish, a dream. It's very passionate. It's very, I feel like the communication will just flow between the two of you. And it just feels right. But then justice there, uh, somebody might get caught. And then somebody may lose a job or you may have to end it. And then you may have to heal from it we have healing here so that's up to you if you have this in next incoming connection and it's a work environment thing that's not supposed to happen um, you may want to rethink that as in be decisive here yeah because we have death at the bottom so it may start fast but it may end quickly it may start fast but end quickly here so may start out real good but then like I said you might get caught and then it may end quick and then you have to recover and heal yourself from this mistake that you made okay Leo uh, <laughs> sorry it wasn't more positive but uh, maybe next month will be more positive for you so um, if you do like how I read please do like share subscribe comment I love to read the comments hit the bell you'll be notified when I post new readings Again, you'll get four readings a month, so don't miss out on that. Best of luck to you. Good luck to you. Whatever you decide here, hopefully it will work out. Or maybe if this person, uh, you know, maybe they're just a temporary worker because we have temperance here. So, I mean, maybe they're a temporary worker. So that could be to have patience and wait for the right time to come together with this person to where it's more equal and balanced. Because I think if you rush in too quick, before like say their um term ends then you you know somebody may be getting in trouble and you don't want that to happen because the next here what card here was the knight of coins coins a very slow moving uh, night here so again this is again work environment so taking things very very slow and discussing this um with your person if you don't want it to end uh you may have to wait and be patient until the right time otherwise it may end quickly and then there'll have to be a lot of healing you may have to heal from the situation with the ten of wands there i mean again that's about an ending so it could end as quick as it starts okay leo uh again good luck to you and i'm sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light